guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you enjoyed the video in which I did the Max Surf Baby Collection haul and swatches and things that I felt were women of color friendly. So if you want to see the look that I'm wearing now, please continue watching. So I first started this look using Max Studio Finish Concealer and now I'm using NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Gold. As you can see here, what I'm using as a base. So I'm starting out this look using the gold pigment, which is from the Surf the Ocean Stackable Pigments from the Surf Baby Collection. And I'm using the MAC 239 brush. And I also applied Fix Plus to the brush, so I'm applying this wet. So as you, as you can see, that I'm kind of using a sweeping motion, and you can also pat this pigment as well and that kind of helps with leaving out fallout. Next, I'm going to use the same Surf the Ocean stackable pigment from this collection, and I'm going to use my MAC 219 pencil brush. You can use whatever pencil brush that you have but essentially what you're going to use this brush for is to cut the crease. So you're going to cut the crease with this color as well as use it for the outer corner of the eye. So you don't have to worry about this being neat at this particular point. So you're just basically packing the color. Now that the crease color has been placed, I'm going to use a clean contour brush and I'm using the e.l.f. contour brush just to kind of remove those harsh edges and make it a little bit more blendable into the gold. So just using a windshield motion sweeping across the crease and the outer corner. Next, I'm going to place my highlight color and I'm using Short Shorts by MAC and I'm going to place that with the MAC 275 angled brush. And this is a medium angled brush. You can use any type of brush that you want to place this highlight color. So you don't want it to be too heavy, especially if you're darker skin. You don't want it to look really, really white. So just very lightly place it on as the highlight. Next, you want to get a color that's very similar to your skin tone, and I'm using MAC Texture Brush, and I'm going to use this color with my MAC 217 Blending Brush, and I'm just going to blend those harsh edges out. Now I'm going to use my MAC 219 Pencil Brush, and I'm going to place a matte black color, and in which I'm using Carbon by MAC, and I'm going to place that over the crease area just to kind of deepen the crease a little bit. And I'm just placing it in the outer V and in the crease. Now I'm going to switch over to my clean contour brush and just kind of clean up the harsh edges again. Next, you want to use an inner highlight color, and I'm going to use Sun Blonde again, and I'm using the MAC 239 brush, and just kind of going over that gold pigment, just so it won't be so brassy. Now grab an angled brush and use the Sun Blonde to apply an inner corner of the lower eyelid highlight. Use that same angled brush and apply Fix Plus first and just place the gold pigment on the middle section of this lower eyelid.
And once again, after applying Fix Plush to your angled brush, place that forest green on the outer corner of the lower eyelid and mix all of these colors together so that everything looks well blended. So here's the final look of the eyes in which I've already placed my liner, mascara, as well as a black liner in the lower waterline. Now for the face, you want to get your Guilty Bronze Bronzing Stick by MAC and I'm just kind of placing it on my cheeks and I'm actually using my fingers just to kind of blend it out onto the cheek area. If you don't like using your fingers, you can always use any type of blush brush that you like to use and just blend that onto the apples of your cheeks. I like this bronzing stick because it gives you the perfect summer glow on your cheeks. Now grab the My Paradise cheek color and which I'm going to blend both of the two colors together. And I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks just to give a hint of color and a little bit of shimmer. Now I'm going to use hibiscus lipstick and I'm not going to use any liner or anything and I'm just going to apply that to my lips. Next grab strange potion lip glass and I'm just going to apply that over the hibiscus lipstick. I really like the combination that the two have together. All right, so this completes the final look. I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial. And as always, remember to brush and floss only the teeth that you want to keep. Thanks.